to teach to cry to wipe to deck up to fry to laugh to run to sleep in these photographs there are people doing a variety of things you have seen the names of the actions let us now make sentences with these words let us make sentences about what these people in the photographs are doing the teacher teaches in the class the baby cries grandfather just slept mother fries puris i wipe the cupboard raju runs fast the girls laugh loudly elder sister decks up while going out we completed the sentences by using these forms of the words at the end of the sentences tell me what do we understand from these words yes absolutely right from all these words we understand what a person is doing that means we understand some actions do you know what these words are called the action words are called verbs verb we know the action to wipe to cry to run to deck up to laugh to fry to teach to sleep now let us know a little more about the verbs look at the sentences and yes read them carefully teacher in the class the baby i the cupboard elder sister while going out grandfather just mother puris the girls allowed raju fast what happened here absolutely right we read the sentence without the verb so what happened we did not understand the sentence we could not make out the meaning of the sentence we did not know what the action was everything looked incomplete is the baby laughing or crying raju fast but what next do you understand now how important a verb is in a sentence verb the sentence is complete we understand the action in the sentence we understand the meaning of the sentence properly the verb is at the end of the sentence let us complete some of these sentences now what do you wipe right now why do you cry so much sleep quietly right now how long will you be awake meeta laughed at his joke the teacher taught in the class today look the rat ran from here to there did someone fry the puris now what can you say about the verbs oh yes the verbs are not at the end of the sentence anywhere absolutely right a verb is not necessarily at the end of the sentence you must have noticed by now that while using a verb in the sentence we need to change its form a bit it cannot be used as it is in the sentence the form of the root verb changes due to a lot of different reasons the form of the root verb changes in a sentence i ate pav bhaji yesterday i will eat pav bhaji tomorrow we eat healthy food every day what is this how frequently you all eat tomorrow i will eat a lot but not today i am too full i eat mango what do you eat today all of you eat your packed lunch in the classroom itself what did we learn the action words are called verbs 
while making a sentence the root form of the verb is changed a sentence is completed because of the verb the action in the sentence is understood the sentence becomes meaningful a verb is not always at the end of the sentence exercise a baby is seen in the following picture think of different actions related to a baby and write down laughs does potty moves his or her hands and legs make a list of things in order what you do since you get up get up brush teeth drink milk have breakfast 